In the last video, we introduced the Zero to Launch API, including how to register, get your API key, and explored what tools are available. And wow, the response has been incredible. Many of you asked, this is awesome, but how do I actually use these APIs in tools like N8N or Postman? So that's exactly what we're doing in this video. I'll walk you through how to take any API from the Zero to Launch Docs and plug it into real world tools like automation workflows or testing platforms. And bonus, I've also got a sneak peek of a brand new Vision API that just dropped. Let's get into it. First up, text generation with your favorite LLMs. Whether you're working with OpenAI GPT 4.1, DeepSeek, or Llama, this API is your interface to powerful chat capabilities. So in N8N, we open a new workflow and to begin testing, we add a simple trigger node. This will help us kick off our workflow manually. Next, we drag in the HTTP request node because that's how we'll actually call the API. Now, instead of typing every detail manually, let's speed things up. Let's click on import from curl inside the HTTP request node. This is where we can paste a curl command and it'll automatically populate all the request parameters for us. If you're not familiar, a curl command is basically a snippet of code used to send API requests right from your terminal and it's incredibly handy for testing. But here, we're using it to instantly configure our HTTP node in N8N. All right, let's head to the Zero Two launch docs. You'll find a ready-made curl example for every API endpoint. Just copy the one you want, paste it into the curl import box. We're gonna customize it a bit. We use OpenAI model, starting with the API key. Head to the header section and paste in your key under XAPI key. Next up, Let's look at the body input. Think of this as the brain of the request, where we tell the AI what we want. Since we're using the OpenAI model here, we'll be working with a messages array, which includes two roles, system and user. To make it easy, you can copy a template structure directly from the docs. The system role sets the behavior of the assistant. By default, the system role is set to something simple like, you are a helpful assistant, but you can absolutely customize this based on your use case. For example, if you're generating a horror story, you might set the system role to, you are a master horror storyteller. Your task is to create a chilling, vivid narrative tailored to a specific duration in minutes. It's like giving your AI a bit of personality or backstory before the user's prompt even comes in. And it often leads to much better results just by setting the stage with a strong system prompt. And the user role, that's simply your actual question or command. Once you filled that in, hit import and boom. Just like that, all your parameters, headers, method, body are fully configured and ready to go. Now let's add the user prompt, the actual message we want the AI to respond to and run the test to see it in action. And just like that, you get a full story back. Now here's a cool trick. If you don't set a seed value, the results change each time you run it. Great for creative variety. But if you do specify a seed, say 100, it'll return the exact same output every time, as long as you use the same prompt. That's the power of the seed parameter. Next up, text-to-speech. You can use this API to turn any text into a real lifelike voice powered by OpenAI models, but hosted and cost covered by us. Copy the curl command from the docs, create another HTTP request node and paste it in. Before anything else, make sure to add your XAPI key in the headers. This authenticates your request and unlocks access to the service. Fill in the fields like text, voice, and vibe. These control what's said, how it sounds, and the emotion behind it. For example, for a scary story, try a deeper voice with a dramatic or suspenseful vibe. I've got a full list of voices and vibes for you on GitHub. Browse and find the perfect fit for your use case. Hit test step to hear the result.
The door creaked open slowly, and a cold breath of air whispered through the hallway. Something was watching. Sounds amazing, right? We also offer a second version of this API, one that returns a temporary audio URL instead of binary data. Great for testing and sharing. We only need to switch the endpoint to this one. Then hit test. Boom, it works perfectly. The link stays live for 10 minutes, so you can open it in your browser instantly. The door creaked open slowly, and a cold breath of air whispered through the hallway. Something was watching. Now that we've turned text into audio and retrieved a temporary audio URL, let's put that to use. We're going to take that audio link and feed it into our speech-to-text API. So the AI can listen and return the transcript, and just like before, Grab the curl command of speech to text API from the docs, then paste it into the import from curl box of a HTTP request node. And boom, you've got the structure ready to go. Don't forget to add your XAPI key in the header to authenticate the request. Now for the key part in the JSON body, Update the audio underscore URL field with the link we just got from our text-to-speech response. All right, hit test step. And just like that, you'll see your audio transcribed to clean, readable text. Magic. Now on to visuals. Text-to-image with Flux. Same process. Copy the curl import it into a new HTTP request node, then adjust the prompt and parameters. Want consistency? Set a seed value. Hit test step. And boom, we've got a stunning image. Try generating a few times. You'll notice we get the same result each time. That's because we set the seed value to 1000, which makes the output consistent. Now let's remove the seed and run it again. Each time you'll see a fresh new image because we're randomizing the seed behind the scenes. Perfect for creative variation when you want a variety of results from the same prompt. Just like with audio, we also offer a version that gives you a direct image URL. Super handy for embedding, sharing, or plugging into your automation workflows. And the best part, the image stays live for 10 minutes. Perfect for quick tests or temporary integrations without needing storage setup. Awesome. Now that we've got our image, let's take it a step further. What if we could analyze that image with AI? ask it questions, and get rich descriptions back, well, that's exactly what the Vision API is for. Let's dive into how it works and how to use it with the image we just generated. To get started, we head back to the docs and look for the Analyze Image Endpoint under the Vision API section. Just like before, copy the curl command. This gives us the full request structure. We'll add a new HTTP request node and import that curl to prefill all the settings. Now for the body input. This API takes in two key things, the text prompt what you want to ask about the image and the image URL you want to analyze. For example, you might ask, where is this place? Or describe the objects in this scene. Below that, there's also a field for max tokens, which limits the length of the output text. We'll keep it at 320 for now. As for the image itself, we'll paste in the image URL we got earlier from the text-to-image API. Just make sure the structure matches what the API expects. A JSON object with the field image underscore URLs, and the URL will be the image URL we generated from the text-to-image API. Once that's all filled in, don't forget to add your XAPI key in the headers. All right, now hit test step, and let's see what we get back. Boom. Just like that, 
the model breaks down the image and gives us a thoughtful, natural language explanation. Perfect for adding context, captions, summaries, or even powering advanced workflows where the AI sees before it responds. Finally, let's take a look at how to test these same 02 launch APIs inside Postman, a popular tool for developers and non-devs alike, to explore, debug, and prototype API workflows. Once you've installed and opened Postman, we'll start just like before, go back to the 02 launch docs, pick the API you want to try, let's say the generate text endpoint again, and copy the curl command. In Postman, click import, and paste in the curl snippet. Postman will automatically parse it and set up everything, the URL, method, headers, and body. As usual, we need to set up the API key in the headers, just like we did in N8N. Once that's in place, all that's left is to update the body fields with your own input. Simply mimic the same body you used in N8N. You can also tweak parameters like temperature and seed to control the creativity and consistency of the responses. Then hit send and just like that, your API call is live right inside Postman. Quick tip, temperature controls creativity. Values between 0.7 to 1 are common. Higher means more creative, but possibly less accurate, and lower values make the output more focused or safe. All right, click send, and boom. You've got a clean, fast response directly from the AI model. Now in this example, I didn't set temperature or seed manually, so both are handled behind the scenes. That way, the response stays safe, but still creative and varied every time. And there you have it. Your complete walkthrough on how to use the Zero2 Launch AI API across platforms like N8N and Postman. Whether you're generating text, speech, images, or even analyzing visuals with the Vision API, you now have all the tools at your fingertips to build powerful, creative AI workflows. Remember, this is still in early access, and it's completely free until the end of the week for the Zero2 launch community. So test everything out, push the limits, and let me know how it goes. Your feedback helps shape what we improve next. And if you're loving this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, or join the community if you haven't already. All right, catch you in the next one, where we'll take this even further with real automation examples and AI-powered use cases. Let's build something amazing together.